Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. Sorry if you all had to hear me sneezing. I thought I had the sound turned off, but maybe I didn't. Alright, so. And I might still sneeze. Alright, so we are back in Honkai Star Rail. I am going to sneeze one moment. Alright, hopefully that should be the last of that. Alright, uh, so we are back in our favorite our favorite gacha game, Honkai Star Rail. Um, and it is a new week, and we have things to do. Just do a little maintenance first. There we go. Alright, so I do have an achievement or two. Uh, let's see. Uh, actively enhance blessings 200 times in simulated universe. There we go. Uh, that one took a while, as you can probably guess. And then defeat one enemy with technique damage. So, still making good progress. We will probably get to 400 soon. And then, let's see, warp. So, the man with a plan is out. Uh, make sure for anyone who has already uh, gotten to where you can get message, like you can get those email like rewards for like daily rewards and whatnot that you make sure that you get him. Um, and these are the people running with them. Uh, interesting lineup. But yes, Dr. Ratio is finally hit the game. Um, and of course, I was able to pick him up for free. So make sure you do too. Uh, and as you all know, I already have Kafka. I got her on her first release. Um, so for now, we are going to be working on seeing if we can pull that lovely... I hope that your dinner is going very well. Oh, thank you. It'll be, uh, I'm excited. Uh, but have a good dinner, though. I don't know if she can hear me. Because she's eating dinner. Lovely dinner. There we go. Alright, and... So we're going to be pulling for his light cone, because I like to pamper all of my five stars and make sure they have their proper equipment. I don't think I- yeah, I have just barely enough under the needed amount for a standard pull. So, let's see what we got in those next ten pulls. Uh, we are only at like four pities, so I'm not- I'm not expecting a lot, but I would love to get to finish off my Don Hung, uh, light cone. Oh, and of course getting some more for Locha is also important because I do not, unfortunately, have Locha's 5-star. So upgrading his 4-star light coat would be very nice as well. Alright, so that's 14. So let's see 24. Alrighty then. And I do believe that is uh, a fully done Don Hung light cone. Which is delightful for me. That will put us at 34. So now we just want some more Locha uh, light cones so that we can get that as maxed out as possible. Well, hi, Arlen. 
Oh, and a locha. Delightful. We'll take it. We'll take it. Alright, and then last tin pull I currently have saved up. This will put us at 44. That one's really good for Gapard if you don't have his 5 star light cone. I do, I bought uh, Gapard's 5 star so I do not need that one. But I don't think I have it fully updated though. Yeah, here's my Locha, only at level 1, so these are quite nifty. Quite helpful. And then there's the Don Hong one. Where is my other one? Oh, I actually had a fully maxed out one. Huh. I guess this starts a new one. I thought I was missing just one. And then the Land Dao is this one. Which was on my Gepard for quite a while. Alright, and then we are only one away, and as you can see, can't currently see. I found I'm... a home to protect. Uh, I am behind in some of my newest four stars leveling up, and I can't even do it. Um, hmm, because I could get a uh, ticket if I could get her ascended. Here, are we already... Let's do this real quick. A will forged in ice! Never falters! My Gapara and Your end approaches. Rules are made to be broken. See if this is enough to Save be able to for me. Receive divinity. I fail to send you. A will forged in ice never falters. <laughs> the dead return. The fight is set. Savor it for me. Hmm. Okay, pretty quick. I've currently been trying to level up Doctor Ratio to fully up to 80, so that's why I've been at that ca Calyx. Let's see. Just short. Oh my gosh. Alright. Okay. <laughs> While devotion to public tasks is a must, this fatigue is somewhat... Overwhelming. Oh yeah, what does Dr. Ratio say when he levels up? I, as you can see, I have him leveled up, but I just, like, wasn't listening to what he was saying. Voice. The faster the progress, the greater the chance of errors. Hmm. Okay, so now I should have 10, which I do. 
And then, how close are we getting? Uh, 40 more. This will make it 30. But we are at 56 on the standard banner, so we have a potential for a 5 star. Um, as you all know, I have all of the 5 star characters except for Clara and Yan Ching. Um, Clara, I already have her 5 star, so it would be nice to get her. And that I need Himiko and Welt's uh, 5 star light cone. Those would also be great. It looks like we are getting a 5 star of some form. Okay. That was 57, 58. Another Asta, which I have fully maxed out. 60. Hi, Luca. 61. 62, 63, 4, 5. A Branya Edelon. Interesting. So we are officially at one pity. So that's what a 5 star Edelon looks like, huh? This little rainbow circle instead of the 4 star being this blue purple one. Interesting. The game really wants me to be a Branya main. I got Branya very low pity. I got her character almost very shortly after, and my first duplicate is another Branya. The game really wants me to be a Branya main. The future of Bellabog shines bright. And she is my least invested character. <laughs> because I have as I said, I got her light cone really quickly, but her traces I still have not like fully maxed out because I have been prioritizing every other five star character. Like I haven't started on Doctor Ratio yet, but Branya's gonna be put on the wayside while I get Doctor Ratio fully maxed out. Speaking of which, while I'm you here. may choose to do the same as everyone else. But you are bound to get a completely different result. Um, because as you can see, I am almost completely out of tracks of destiny. You may choose to do the same as everyone else, but you are bound to get a completely different result. You may choose to do the same as everyone else, but you are bound to get a completely different result. Oh my gosh, I have a bajillion of these spirals. I'm so glad someone finally uses them because, like, I have been farming these. Not for any, like, amazing reason, but just because... I'm out of money. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's like, as you saw, I only have like, what, two more tracks of Destiny now with doing that? Yeah, two more. Um, that's not enough to fully max out a character. I think you need like six, I think, plus the extra talent, so like seven per character to fully max them out. Um, and I have all of my ones except for Branya, because Branya kept being put last, and then I would get a new character, and I would max them out, and then I'd go back and work on Branya, as shown by hers, and then I get a new character, and the cycle kept repeating. Uh, speaking of which, I actually haven't looked at my... Did I max out his traces? Oh, I didn't. Yep, 
Yeah, I think I was waiting to get all my other characters done prior to doing the second path of the Trailblazer. Because I never use this path, because I have Gepard. I always just use the destruction path. Oh, right. This is the other question. Is, uh... So, I have it up to 600. I can either A get a second Gepard light cone, or I can get a light cone for either of my characters that I have that I don't have their light cone for. So like, which one is the better investment? Because potentially at some point I could get one of these anyway, just losing the 50-50. Um, but, as shown by the fact that I don't have Clara or Yao Ching yet, I could also never get them. Like, a good example is, uh, I've had my Genshin account for ages. Um, I don't have a Keqing or Kuching yet, and I don't have... Oh, what's that other five-star character from the standard banner? I don't have Dehya, but she only just came out. What are the five-star Genshin characters? Give me a second. Uh, standard banner Genshin characters? Because Diluc was my first one I got. Yeah, I got Diluc first, and then I got Mona, and then I got Chi Chi, Tignari, and Jean. Jean was my most recent acquisition. But I still don't have Kuching, and I don't have Dehya. So there's the other question, is I could just never get it. What happens if I get his next super in pose? Is it tell me what the next level is? So then it would be like, if I don't get this, should I get Himiko or should I get Welt? Currently, Welt has a five star light cone on him, but it's the Trailblazers for whenever we get to the Nihility path. Um, and so if I end up wanting to change the main character to Nihility, I'll need this one. But currently, I use Himiko more. Like, I don't use... Oh my gosh, his light cone looks amazing. Um, I don't use... Welt as much. Oh, this would be useful in the, um... In the bug thing when finding the bugs because they always multiply. I'll get Himikos because I use Himiko more currently and well at least for now has a five star light cone on him. I might regret that decision later. Let's throw that on Himiko. Bam. But don't worry, Well, You'll be the next one I get the light cone for. Because Bailu already has hers. <laughs> Alright. Nice! Let's go! I 
forgot I got a Luca Edelon, to be honest. Alright, so now that I've spent... How long have I been doing this? I don't know. 20 minutes? Nice. 10 minutes? 20 minutes? I was right the first time. Um, so what are we doing today? So, one, I intend to show you this new version of the simulated universe. Because I have not worked on it at all. As you can see, we've got stuff to do. Uh, but a new event... The simulated universe is here to stay. Like, we don't need to worry about that. Um, and then, here's my progress on this, by the way. Uh, but, so I don't have to worry about this going anywhere, because this is like a permanent new addition. Um, but this virtual scent venture, which, very interested in what that means. Uh, the Department of Ecology's unknown life form smell induced perceptions and hallucinations. Special test has begun. You have especially you've been specially invited invited as a qualified tester. Very curious about that. So we're gonna start with this. Get as far as we can in the time that we are allowed. And then um and then we'll go from there. I, I swear I actually intend to show you all the gears and whatnot. Kayla, so you're back in the space station? You're really impressive as head of security department. I just got back and you already know about this stuff. I need a favor from you. There are a lot of critters at the space station. Um, it's too complicated to explain over tests. Let's meet up. So we'll do that in a minute. But first... We have all these texts from Dr. Ratio, so we're going to do, let's see what he has to say. I've heard he talks a lot, which I feel like is very apropos for, like, a professor, and that's kind of what he seems to be. So, after three months of insistent engineering designs, I feel a tad bit weary. Kalis, do grace my intellect with a much-needed barrage of stimulating quizzes, if you would be so kind. This is the first time I've received a qu request like this. Is that so? Is this not how you usually unwind? Make the express- how to turn the express into a perpetual motion machine that doesn't rely on external en energy. That's a brilliant question. Let me see. I literally just made that up. As it happens, the question of energy has been an old friend of mine. I am confident in my ability to elevate the train to a level of appropriate perpetual motion. Hold on. What's up? I've just pre- uh, per- per- perused? Perused. Oh my gosh. The guild's compedium on the express, and it looks like it's architectural interest keys and energy consumption. From the records, I noticed that the refueling for the express has been dreadfully irregular since it's recommissioned recommencement, yet it manages to keep warping virtually unperturbed. In a sense, it is already a perpetual motion machine. What power pr propels the Express to journey so enduringly, I wonder? One fine day, I shall personally dismantle it to seek its truth with my own hands. <laughs> Don't let the conductor hear you. They can be t terrifying when they get cranky. Ah, yes, the c that conductor perhaps holds the very key to this secret. One fine day, I shall unravel their enigma, too. I'll report these ideas of yours to the conductor. Keep me posted. Okay. The esteemed University of Ver Veritas Prime has once again commenced its enrollment procedures. Do you, perchance, harbor aspirations for further refinement and scholar scholarly pursuits? Not this man actually being a college professor trying to recruit students. Hmm? What do you mean? Interstellar voyages necessitates a wealth of erudition, lest one may very well perish amidst perils unknown. What subjects tickle your fancy? Mathematics, physics, or perhaps philosophy? Um, I can do math. Um, I got actually, like, well, I won't say, like, super high in math. Like, I took applied calculus and, like, fit, like some physics and some other math in classes because I was required to for my college education. Uh, I had to very aggressively study it because I'm bad at it. I can do math. I just am so horrendously bad at it. So I had to study for hours to be able to get through those classes with the grade I wanted. 
So no, uh, physics, uh, physics is interesting for experiments, but again, it's a lot of math. So out of these, uh, I like philosophy. Are you privy to the demarcation between philosophy and science? To tackle scientific quandaries, one requires parchment, quill, and an eraser. Yet to unravel philo philosophical enigmas, parchment and quill shall suffice. For in philosophy lies a notable lack of definitive criterion for right and wrong. I would not recommend this discipline to ne neophytes. Cool. You may need more time for careful consideration. <laughs> Beware of those who only extol the virtues of academic discipline without candidly acknowledging its challenges. I have met numerous students brimming with enthusiasm, only to witness their eventual departure is sconed in disillusionment and despondency. Hence, any academic decision should be approached with utmost caution. Though it may sound harsh, not everyone is suited for their scholarly pursuit. <laughs> I'm surprised you are aware that you sound horrendous. I give it- I'll give it more serious thoughts. You only gave me so many options, sir. Do ponder upon it with due uh, diligence before tendering your response, and should you require it, I shall gladly lend my quill to pen a com commendatory missive to your benefit. He'll help me get into college, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Asia. Oh, wait, have you all seen that um, in the promotional stuff? Honkai Star Reel really is uh, Hoyo versus favorite. So when they released um, The Night of Beauty, uh, they quite literally cultivated a new genus of Rose and then hold, held like a gala for him in like a, like a beauty department. Top tier content. And then Dr. Ratio, they're quite literally giving away like 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 studying for college textbooks for him. It's so funny. Tap to register for the Rosetta Rosenthal Cup. We look forward to meeting you. Kalis, I have sent you the info about the recent debate competition held within the guild. The debate topic is, are science and technology neutral? Don't get any wrong ideas. I'm simply forwarding someone else's post. The topic is beginner friendly. <laughs> I'm antisocial. I know nothing about debate. It's gonna be a cakewalk for me. Um, I'm bad with debate setups because it will devolve into an argument. <laughs> um... But I know nothing about debate. All the more reason for you to learn, then. It matters not whether you join the competition, but I am inclined to acquire an understanding of how you perceive debate as an activity within your cognitive framework. <laughs> Being snarky with each other, angering your opponent, arguing against the other side. Well, that's, that's how I was taught to debate, was essentially like, um... Uh, was just well I was taught all of these like you if you want to get into a debate you just need to like stump your opponent so a lot of times like if you can like poke at something to actually make them so angry that they cannot continue to debate in the time frame that they are required to produce a rebuttal you can win like if you really can't think of good uh, proponents for your topic definitely that method works really well in a debate setting uh, or at least it did in my philosophy class. <laughs> Maybe it's about arguing against the other side. Very well then, allow me to expound on this topic using the propo proposition above as an example if you please. Which side do you choose? Uh, technology is neutral, technology is not neutral. I would say it's not neutral, personally. Like, I can actually have a debate on this if you'd like, <laughs> Dr. Ratio. Technology is not neutral. I'll take the affirmative side then. You may speak first. This is not the choice I would make, but sure. Some technologies are inherently good, like those that prolong lifespans. Indeed, strides made in medical technologies have undeniably saved many a soul from afflictions and ailments, but medical treatments are not necessarily synonymous with the pro prolongation of life. Haven't you lot visited the Ciencio Alliance already? Methinks you ought to have a keener understanding of the dear price one may pay for immortality. I rest my case. See, this barely confirms my assertion. I didn't even get to talk. What about my rebuttal? 
Most often, one's rapid elocution bespeaks an agile intellect. Oh boy, I'm having trouble with him. However, it may also indicate a complete lack of cerebral engagement in one's discourse. Indeed, the conclusion is plain to see. Neither of us can sway the assertion of the other. You get it now. The truth at times does not shine brighter and clearer via this manner of discourse, and at other times it doesn't. Most debates often amount to nothing more than a frivolous play of words. Amongst other things, I have once been enticed into partaking in debates that transcend the confines of languages. What does that mean? Do bear in mind, Kalos, that a robust constitution always proves this metal, no matter that. <laughs> Sir! Did you take the, uh, the Greek, uh, method of debate where... Has anyone heard that TikTok sound? Um, let's see if I can find it. I played it for us, a TikTok sound, last time. So let's see if I can find it. Yeah, so the uh, the Greek honored tradition of some forms of argument. I'm very curious if that's what they're implying with Dr. Ratio. I would love that if that is what they are implying. All right, so let's get on this. Uh, smell venture apparently that we are a qualified beta tester for the, the, I love that it, essentially they figured out that like oh we need to test this new item uh, but we can't get anyone with a brain to volunteer to be our test subjects uh, is that guy that works at the express is he back on the space station he works for peanuts let's get him to do it what else could I do for the space station Sorry, I was busy arranging work for my team. Didn't notice you were here. Ask me anything and I'll do my best to help as per Lady Asta's request. Fantastic. What a relief to see you on the space station, Kalis. Uh, I'm sorry. As head of the security department, this should be my responsibility, but I have to trouble you. Sorry, I'll cut to the chase then. There's been quite a bit of mayhem recently. Three of the geniuses were meeting up at the space station, and while Asta hosted them, some of the researchers discovered several little critters running amok through the station. These pr they're pretty cute, kind of like peppy, but they have these cake-shaped shells, smell delicious, and look completely harmless. Oh, my cats that I, um, created. Asta sent over some research from the Department of Ke Ecology to observe their behaviors, only to discover that these cute critters were nowhere near as simple as they seemed. Well, er, their organs, they have never really been covered up before, so there's nothing really hidden about it. Our researchers discovered some glands on their face and foot soles that trigger olfactory signals. The chemical release from these glands combine with the olfactory cells in the nose to potentially stimulate a reaction from the brain. Basically, the food flavors they radiate can affect human perception, for example. Some researchers have come into contact with them before. Those who smelled red bean felt depressed and they got back to their cryosleep pods. Meanwhile, those who could smell cheese grew ex extremely excited. So the researchers put together a special test for these critters' glands to calculate all the potential risks. How do I help? Easy, I'd like you to take the special gland test. In a nutshell, this test uploads and synchronizes our thoughts to the cloud. Our researchers then gather as much of these smell secretions from the critters and then stimulate each of these smells into the cloud by manipulating specific molecules. Activating different scent plugins will charge, change the test subject's perceptions, activating the memory domains of the brain, and causing various thrilling hallucinations to be experienced. Uh, the main format is actually a simulated battle. The maintenance team said the machine with these specs could only co support content of that size. Unfortunately, my knowledge is limited, and people haven't been happy with the test results. The maintenance team said I hadn't reached the risk threshold for testing until I had smoke plumbing out of the machine. I think as a nameless, Kalis, you've seen a lot, and you're pretty skilled too. Come give it a try and see if maybe you can reach these limits that they're after. If there's smoke coming out of the machine, will my brain also? Are you worried about getting injured? Fear not. It's a remote connection, so there's no physical contact. 
Don't worry, the test is loaded onto a little robot, and everything you see is our official simulation. If there's any surprise, the Cloudbot will shut down power and force exit without causing any strain on your body. The robot's over in the clinic. I'll take you over. If you have any questions about the test, just ask the way. Alright then, let's go. Woohoo. Alright, little guy. Verifying. Identity. Authenticating. Authentication. Successful. Cryo sleep pod status. Test complete. Cloud synchronization. Successful. Dear Special Test Candidate, welcome to our unknown life form, smell induced perceptions, and hallucinations special test. Please note, this test data has been provided exclusively by the Department of Ecology and may not be shared externally. Cryo sleep pod connected. To start the test, please lay down, face up in the cryo sleep pod next to you, and maintain a calm mental state. Okay. After completing the illusion challenge, you will earn a score for each stage and rank. Rank SS is the highest rating. Normal mode, despair mode. Okay. Phantoms will activate different traits in combat. Please pay close attention to their traits in order to defeat them. Before starting the stage, you can apply different scent plugins based on your current team. Okay, so they seem to want these two characters. We'll throw in Gapard. And then. I guess Himiko. Grease, Ice, and Fire. Imaginary and Quantum. And then we'll do Speed and Energy. The stage contains action value timers. The corresponding values will be deducted after the allies and enemies take place. The stage finalization points is blah blah blah. Is that all? Time for a bug. <laughs> a will forged you know what I just realized I Never fully forgot to put a healer on this team. <laughs> Hopefully Gapar can pull through for us. Who's next? Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. You won't get away. <sighs> Time for a bug. <laughs> <laughs> this is double speed. A will forged in ice. Never falters! Is that all? Who's next? Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. A will forged in ice. Never falters. Time for a bug. <laughs> Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. of the past. A will forged in ice never falters. Who's next? Disappear among the sea of butterflies. We'll get to illusions of the past. I reduce the uh, <laughs> this all the way down and see what happens, because otherwise I think this, this team setup speed. is not going to uh, kill the Ebon Deer, or it's going to take like five years to do so. You won't get away. <laughs> this is double speed. You won't get away. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. 
Illusions of the past. Time for a pun. <laughs> A will forged in ice never falters. Time for a pun. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. So, literally, this one just seems to be like a battle simulator. And that's all it is. Okay. I will do that off screen because a battle simulator is not all that exciting to watch. Um. So that's what the new virtual scent venture is it's just a uh, battle scent like you fight bosses essentially and then you put in like whatever upgrades you feel like something very similar to like a lot of the genshin quests or little like events that genshin has all the time welcome welcome i hope dinner was good um so let's see Golden Gears. So I know this one is also going to be kind of like a uh, a battle thing, but it is the new simulated universe, so let's check it out. So they now that they're coming out with multiple different like subsections to the simulated universe, you can come to here and then you can pick whichever version you want to use. So we have Swarm Disaster, which I still have not fully finished, and then Golden Gears. So let's see what it's like. Um, hmm. And I think, yeah, I think they have like a new path. So let's try out the new path. And so they each path apparently has like a buff, like the hunt increases crit damage, erudition increases ultimate damage for the allies. So let's go with our tried and true team for now. And interestingly enough, it seems that this Golden Gear section apparently has dice involved, so let's see how that goes. Oh yeah, no, I... when it comes to... I'm definitely behind. Um, at least your studying is the reason why you're behind. I've actually, like, quite a few of the games that I've been playing recently, I've just, like, lost interest in. Like, they feel like a slog to play instead of something I'm actually interested in playing. And so I've stopped playing quite a few of them and I actually, like, feel better for it. Of course I feel, like, a little bit bad because I've been playing it for ages to just stop suddenly. I'm just, like, it feels like I gave up on kind of that time I played it, but it opens up so much more time for you. Like, Genshin, at least recently, um, I've only been playing it a little bit. Um, just enough to get, like, the daily stuff, and I haven't done any of the events recently because I've just not been interested in any of them. Um, and then, uh, for those of you who have been on the stream a while, you've heard, like, my notification pop up every once in a while. Uh, for Obey Me, because I played that for quite a long time. I think I played it for, like, two years at this point. Um, but it just was such a drag to play that I just stopped playing it recently. Um, because it just wasn't- the story itself wasn't interesting anymore. Uh, and I have another game that I've started doing that. Because, uh, 
I've gotten into Baldur's Gate 3, and I feel like Baldur's Gate 3 has really, like, shown me that I can actually enjoy games. Like, I am always so excited to get on the computer and play Baldur's Gate 3. Like, and that's just not a feeling that a lot of my video games that I normally play pretty regularly have given me in a while, so... It's definitely something to, like, think about. Of course, in your case, because you're studying and you have, you've been, like, so busy, it's, uh... A little bit different, but it's very interesting on, like, how video games can, like, become a habit, especially in games like Honkai Star Rail, Genshin, ones that are, like, purposely built so that you can play them every single day, like, they don't really have an end goal, um, to the point that, like, because they don't have an end goal, it's hard to continue making new content for them, and so sometimes they can start becoming, like, super bland over time. So, okay, so it's very similar to, uh... I've literally already- the bug version, where we're going through, like, this thing. Uh, da, 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 da. So our brain gets affected as we move. You must always pay attention, otherwise you might lose control and turn into a robot. Huh. Here are the Trailblaze secrets. Don't forget to collect some IPC secrets along the way. I'll leave them in your hands. Okay, current cognition value and the target range are both displayed in the bar. Check it at the top of the board. The cognition value required to unlock each secret is displayed above the secret. Secrets are divided into Trailblaze secrets and Eon secrets. Click Trailblaze secrets to view their trigger criteria. Eon secrets can only be unlocked after collecting all of the Trailblaze secrets on the same plane. Understood, you'll get the hang of intercognition later. Let's keep going for now. This is the intercognition domain where you can adjust the cognition value. We were just talking about, about thus helping you collect more secrets of the universe. Interesting. Will forged in ice never falters. The dead return. Rules are made to be broken. Yeah, this is probably like kind of different from what you were thinking about. Um, max technique points reached. Okay, welcome Kayla. Steven has asked me to give you a thorough breakdown of those custom dice. Herta doesn't seem to be in the mood to explain much. According to him, the dice is actually a shell of Intellectron, and you can attach your emotions, thoughts, memories, and charms to it. I don't know. Just enjoy it. Maybe it'll develop its own free will someday. Keep going, Kayla. Ooh. Look, this is the dice face you ke you just put on. Keep collecting more dice faces and assemble them however you like. It's so much fun. Select combat or lead to domain to immediately get the rewards. Okay. Alright, everyone is here. Herta clears her throat and says, We finally gathered at the Cog... Cog... Cogito? Cogito? 
Incognito hair salon in the mechanical city. That was just a simulation. Now let's get a haircut. Oops, sorry, we've got to talk about something while getting our hair done. Formation. We need to constantly reaffirm our intercognition during our journey in the simulated universe. This case, screw them. Kalis, we wonder whether your intercognition has changed during this wonderful trip. If your intercognition is swayed by the test, you'll see yourself as a machine. And that's not what we hope to see. Click here, options. Um, well, we're currently at zero, so we'll increase it by ten. Adjustment intercognition. I am organic. Conclusion, some memories have resurfaced. Once upon a time when the organic and inorganic libs were not at odds. Well, that one turned red, so I guess that one. Oh my gosh, I missed. Oh my gosh, just barely. Is that all? Anyway, so what I was trying to get at is like I have really Show no mercy. Um noticed between like in the last couple months. And again, this is probably going completely off tangent. Um, that games that have like a conclusion, like Baldur's Gate 3 or um, Death in Taxes or any of those games, since they have a conclusion, there's a lot more fulfillment in, um, playing the game than sometimes when you play these games because these games a lot of times are built so that there will be almost no conclusion or the conclusion will be like multiple years off because like Genshin for example Genshin is what three four years old maybe even five years old at this point um and Trouble we're ahead. now in Fontaine Proceed. I'm or at you. least some people are. I'm not. <laughs> um, I'm with you. Let's but, like, I we're in Fontaine, and there's. I'm trying to think. <gasps> How many areas until we get to Shmezhnaya, which may be the last area? Looks like Simulated Universe is getting a bit messy. I need to find Steven to fix this bug. Sorry, Kalish, you're just gonna have to stick with it for now. During the boss fight in the third plane, resonant exploration will occur. Resonant explorations will simulate different types of path resonance and have a serious impact on allies. During later challenge, you can select path resonant effects as simulated by resonant extrapolation from the boss domains. And da -da -da -da. Is that all? Is Rules are made um, to be broken. But we're in Fontaine, and that's what area five. Monset, Rules. Leeway, Sumeru, Fontaine. Yeah, it's area five out of seven areas, I believe. And we may get an eighth area in uh, Conria, right? And that might be like the final boss area. Nice, you've got your intracognition perfectly calibrated. Well done. Since your brain activity has fallen within the system's required range, a new secret has been extrapolate extrapolated. Keep your intercognition within the target range every time you explore, and you can unlock more secrets. Beginning. Inter-Astral Peace Corporation. 
You check out the unfamiliar surroundings. An IPC recruiter stands in front of you with a smile. You realize it is time for you to make a decision. Welcome aboard, newcomer. You must be a spirited organic life charm. Let me explain the company structure to you. Your first choice, following Talora Far... Far... Farnsha? From the Public Relations Division. She is known as the Godmother. Her influence is ancient. The recruiter points out in serious tone. She has the support of the four major guardians. They are versed in the ancient skill of psychological manipulation. Farshna, who excels in giving motivation speeches, helps IPC expand across planets. It is said that Farshna's guardians have orchestrated over 200 murders, but she has only personally killed someone once in her life. Your second choice, following Korapo from the Cargo Division. It is a newly established division. Like all youths, they are cocky, enthusiastic, and full of vim and vigor. Corapo has the support of the associates across the planets and is in charge of the logistics resources in the universe. And your third choice, following Dwayne from the technology division, only those who are eager to break the rules and ambitions will follow him, as they are good at ancient languages, coding, and deciphering new languages. The division is also known as the um, decryption division. They have an external mercenary squad at their disposal and their technical technical capabilities are exceptional yet the other divisions still call them mavericks uh, Talora your choice has been recorded in the device the IPC recruiter bows at you I look forward to seeing your development in the intercognition I'm with you So is that all, or which AM will I have an audience with this time? What's this? A gathering of geniuses with this lot? Heard of snorts. Everyone's got their own agenda. It's, it's so hard to get people to work together. We still have to rely on the simulated universe in the end. I mean, when do we pay our respects to Noah? Honestly though, I doubt I can restore their brain. I just want to see them again. Hold on, Steven hasn't connected yet, Ron May says. If you wait, he won't appear. I know this little brat. Hurts his size. We need to scare him. Steven Lloyd, can you hear me? Come out and meet Kalis for the simulated universe. Don't be afraid, Ron May and Skrulem are not here. Steven Lloyd. Oh, look at his little icon guy. That's cute. You, are sus you see a suspicious shadow appearing. Yes, that's right. Reassure Steven. Her just stiffles a smile. Get used to it, as we all have to coddle him. He loves that middle-aged look. Virtual mustache still twitching. He wraps his fingers gingerly around his overalls buttons, but when he locks eyes with you, he still hides behind her in fear. His virtual image nods, as if to salute you. The next time we meet, I'll try to get Steven to take his disguise off. Her clears her throat. Scrulium, you there? I never left, Scrulium says. Kalis, allow me to escort you. My deepest gratitude to my comrades in science. With the current research on Noah's, I hope we can unearth the history of these machine monarchs and investigate the source of the inorganic life. Conclusion, the simulated universe journey begins the very second. Naturally. The IPC is wary of inorganic beings due to two emperor's wars. To this day, I have always endeavored to bridge relations between machine and man. Everyone knows of Skrulem's extraordinary merits. Her to is a lavish with her praise. All right. We'll adjourn this meet and greet here. It's getting late, and we should set off. Kalis, but I have to remind you, unlike Tazeroth, every genius here has paid their respects to Noah, so we know we know this trip will be arduous, Ron May finishes her sentence. She coldly adds, because our every step treads right into their calculations. Including this experiment? I don't mind. Herta anticipated that in Snickers. I am Alpha. You're back. What do you think? Well, you can give Steven your feedback. This is our guest from the Strategic Investment Department of the IPC. Hi, Kalis. I am uh, appointed by Miss Pearl, P45, to discuss our cooperation with Madame Herta on behalf of the Strategic Investment Department. We heard the simulated universe would do research on the First Emperor's War next. Miss Pearl is quite interested, as the Emperor's War happened in the same area when the Border Star Trade War took place. 
The strategic investment department is relatively new compared to other departments in the IPC, so we have no first-hand experience on that in history. Now, the best and brightest of our departments are traveling around the galaxy to settle bad debts stemming from the cancer of all worlds. We need more historical data for that. We'd like to support the Simulated Universe project and purchase a derivation data related to the IPC. No idea. Skrullium seems to have mentioned it before, so it's likely to be an Intelleron. Frankly, the Emperor War was so long ago that I don't think it'll be any help to modern investment, unless they've run out of things to gossip about in the office and just want to read about the IPC back when it was first established. Or, forget it, I'm not interested in corporate conflicts. Since they're willing to pay for it, I see no reason to stop. This is an interesting pro proposal, so I'll say yes. Do your best to keep collecting IPC secrets. Okay, so it's very similar to uh, the the bug one, the Tazaroth one, where we're just going in, we're doing simulated universe fights, and then um, as we do the fights, we may unlock like bits of lore. So not totally different. Anyway, so what I was trying to say, but the fights didn't take nearly as long as I thought they would. Um was that in a lot of games that are just open-ended like this, it's harder to get that, like, dopamine rush, but it's easier to feel like you're losing out on stuff. Because things like, for example, the Scent Adventure, right? It's only going to be around for 14 days. And so if you don't do this, you'll miss out on all these rewards. Genshin, as I stated, quite a few of the events recently I just straight up have not done, and because of that, I probably missed out on quite a few primos. And you need this, like those kinds of events, and like constantly grinding to do them, so that you can get the currency that allows you to pull for characters. But, of course, this essentially then becomes almost a full-time job. Because, like, I think when I was doing all the events on Genshin and all the events in Honkai Star Rail, making sure that I did everything possible so that I could get all of the primos, and then also trying to get, do everything that was needed so that I could get this fully maxed out every single month, I think I was spending somewhere between like two to four hours every single day doing this. And it's an endless cycle of doing that. When I also am supposed to be doing things like, for example, what you're doing, studying so that I can have a better improved life, right? Um, and it's just, it eventually just becomes like I said, a job. Like, you don't enjoy doing it anymore. If you enjoy it, fine. That's great. I'm glad for you. But I was getting to the point where I was just straight up like, I can't do this anymore. Um, and so I have not done many of the Genshin events. The last one I did was the Roses and Guns event that they had in Genshin, and I only did that up to the point that I could get the limited time weapon because that's all I cared about. The story behind it, I wasn't really interested in at all. Um, and so that's like what I've started trying to implement when I play games is like, if the story isn't interesting, I'm just not gonna put myself through it. Tears of Themis. I have been playing Tears of Themis, another Hoyo game, since the day it launched, right? Uh, they just recently had an event, and I, that event was not interesting to me. Really at all. I don't know why it didn't catch me, but I was just not interested in it. And so, I just ended up stopped playing it, because it was not interesting to me. And I feel like that is definitely going to be one of my goals that I put towards in this year, is just... Games that are daily games, like any of the Hoya ones or any of the other games that I own that are like, you would need to do this daily, 
if it does if it's not actually bringing me entertainment to play it I'm not gonna invest my time in it because otherwise I'm just losing time not doing something I like now is that going to affect me so that I cannot pull for as many characters as I want probably but I also don't play them. Like, if you see my Ho my Genshin account, which I'm sure I'll bring up at some point, but this one works just as well. Like, I have all of these characters, right? This game I don't even think's been out for a year. I only use these four pretty much all the time. Nice. So I have all of these characters for, like just because they're pretty which is a perfectly valid reason to get them in the game but it's like it's that sort of thing it's just i only use them in very specific like situations where i'm trying to defeat a hunt and i need their like their little icon because mm. my main four is not able to mm. carry me mm. um so mm. it's that sort of <sighs> it's spark <laughs> Okay, Dr. Ratio is hilarious to me. Um, but yeah, so that's definitely one of my big goal. Like, I'm repeating myself, but um, one of my big goals is, like, if something actually does not entertain me, I'm not going to invest my time. Because a game is supposed to be entertaining. It's not supposed to be a slog. So. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. I know that you were just probably, like, it was an inane comment, but that's what I was trying to, and I took it, like, somewhere completely off kilter, but, um, but yeah. I agree, though, that it is really hard to stay up to, gate, up to date on games uh, while also trying to do other things, and then, especially if you're an adult that has, like, a working job, or even kids with school or just an adult that's going to school. It's just like, there's just not enough time in the day to be able to do all of the games and keep up to date with all of them. It's just not possible. You would essentially eventually have to be sacrificing sleep, which is never a good option to do because that eventually is going to affect your health. And um, no game is worth getting sick over, really. Okay, so I know I made that super serious, and this probably wasn't as fun and entertaining as these streams uh, normally try to be. Uh, but, wait, I have a question. I feel like these pictures have gotten filled in quite a bit. Interesting. Um, as these get, as I try to make these streams is like more interesting and whatnot. But we have filled in the hour, and unfortunately that is only as much as I have to devote to streaming today. Um, I have, with the new year, uh, been very busy. Uh, because I also am trying to get like a bunch of stuff accomplished while I still have the motivation and the energy to do so. So, thank you all so much for coming by. Sorry to get off on that. I guess, like... We really do enjoy philosophy because uh, that's essentially what the tangent we just got off on. And I hope that you all have a lovely rest of your weekend, um, if it is still the weekend for you. And then a great week. Uh, I'll see you all next week. I will probably work on the two events that I had just shown you off camera. Um, and then just like with the Tazeroth, uh, the bug simulated universe when i unlock secrets i will um bring them back to you all and show you them at a later point like on stream um if nothing new main quest happens then we are gonna work on these uh two companion missions and i think we have a new one for links that was just released that i need to go pick up um so that's probably what we'll do next week I hope that you all have a, I already stated that, my brain just goes on repeat. Um, so thank you all, and I hope to see you all back next time. 
Bye.